Hi, I'm Steve Pearson and today I'd like to show you how to verify the software in my Bitcoin Paper Wallet printer. My printer is currently based on an AVR microcontroller which can be programmed in much the same way as a regular desktop PC. In order to program the chip you need to use something called an in-system programmer. These gadgets connect to your PC via USB and to the microcontroller using a special interface. This interface is exactly the same as the one used on the Arduino. The programmers are made by a third party and it's not possible for my code to bypass this programming interface. Let's tear down my printer. Inside we find a circuit board with an interface for an in-system programmer. If I connect the board to my PC using the programmer, I'll be able to verify the software that's loaded on the chip. The first step is to compile a fresh copy of the published code. I hope that you can see that a, a binary is being compiled here. The software loaded onto the chip was compiled on my desktop machine, but the toolchain generates identical binaries when given identical source code. If I copy the path of the compiled binary to the clipboard, I'll be able to paste it into the command line for a tool called AVRDUDE. This tool is the same one that's used to program the chip, but it also includes a verification mode. This is normally used to ensure that programming was successful, but in our case we can use it to verify that the software on the chip has not been tampered with. Here we can see the verification running. And finally, 32K of flash has been verified. The software on the chip matches the source code we compiled. Now if I make a change to the software, let's just do something trivial like change the pin that the light is attached to. Now when I recompile the software, the code will no longer match the code on the chip. Let's see if AVR Dude can spot the change. content mismatch. I hope this gives you some idea of the level of auditing that's possible for this type of hardware. As security conscious Bitcoin users we should demand that all hardware includes schematics and software and that the hardware incorporates an ability to verify the software that's not controlled by the software author. I hope that some uh, independent engineers with experience in microcontroller programming can verify what I've presented here and I hope that this helps to alleviate some of your concerns around Bitcoin related hardware. Thanks for watching.